spaghetti and meatballs. Forget about it. The killer spaghetti called Assassina in Italy is the real deal. Spicy, crispy and bloody red. In this video, we'll uncover the secrets to Italy's sexiest pasta dish, the Assassin's Spaghetti. Aside from a few simple ingredients, you'll need a big ass pan, the biggest you can find. In fact, the iconic way of cooking spaghetti alla sassina requires the spaghetti to be cooked entirely in a pan. So you'll need a pan that can accommodate the pasta without the need of breaking it. Here I'm using a 14 inch pan. It's really the minimum size for this recipe. One more thing about the pan. Make sure you use a thick carbon steel or cast iron pan and seasoned. Really, the cooking style is everything for this recipe. Choose the wrong pan and you'll screw the entire dish. You'll see why in a minute. So we're gonna start by preparing five cups of tomato broth, which we're gonna use to cook the pasta in the pan. Mix five ounces of triple concentrated tomato in five cups of water. Stir. And boom, that's it. If you want something even more flavorful, combine three cups of tomato puree with two cups of water. I'm following the official recipe in this video, so I'm gonna stick with the tomato paste, but we tried both and I gotta be honest, I like the puree based broth even better. Anyway, whichever it's your choice, add two good pinches of salt and bring it to simmer. When the broth is boiling, set it aside. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the so-called sofrito in the pan. So what is this? It's like sauteing garlic in olive oil. So, three cloves of garlic in total, two whole cloves mashed, and one minced. And here comes the pepper, the spiciest you can find. <laughs> well, of course, it's up to taste, but you know what? This is a killer spaghetti. It's meant to be extreme in any way, if you can handle it. Half cup of olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Medium heat and saute until the garlic gets golden brown. No more than that. So this process of infusing oil with aromatics to create a sauce base is called soffritto in Italian cooking jargon. The result, an oil super rich of spicy and garlicky flavors. And here we go. This is the moment, guys. We're ready to cook the pasta. I'm gonna start by adding half a cup of tomato puree. Not the broth we just prepared. Simple tomato puree, undiluted. That, together with the oil, creates a bed, if you will, for our uncooked spaghetti to be laid on. Medium heat, let it reduce for a minute, and then, our spaghetti. That's crazy. Essentially, we're frying the pasta. And that is another unique characteristic of this dish. Yeah, it's a pasta that is fried first. Okay, now we raise the heat to medium high. And don't touch it. We need the pasta to start sticking to the bottom of the pan in order to get that crispy texture. Well, we don't want it burned, but we do want to see a nice brown. And now it's time to flip it. I say it takes about a minute.
Look at that. You see how crispy it is? Look. Capish. Do you see why I said to use a seasoned pen? If you were going to use an untreated pen, like a stainless steel pen, you won't get your spaghetti to detach. It would have been game over. The spaghetti are still pretty stiff, so careful when you move them or you'll break them. Let's flip it again. There, I'm satisfied with how crispy they look, so I'm ready to move to the next level. With a broth. And here is our hot broth. Whoa! That's the sound. It gets even weirder. It's going to be treated like a risotto and cooked slowly with tomato broth. We're gonna wait until the broth is absorbed and we listen to the sound. Once we hear the sizzle, <laughs> once we hear the pasta screaming, so to speak, and we see the pasta sticking to the bottom, then we have more broth. Always a couple of ladles at a time. And we continue again and again, slowly killing our spaghetti. <laughs> yes, a slow and painful death. Torturiamola questa pasta, torturiamola. Lenta e sofferta cottura. Ah, just look at the fantastic texture and color that we're getting here. And we're not even done yet. I'm going to continue for whatever time is written on the pasta package. I would say probably a bit more since this way of cooking takes a little longer. But here is a rule of thumb for you. Once you get to the time written on the package for cooking the pasta al dente, just try it. If it's cooked, <laughs> then you're done. If it's still a bit too hard, just keep going. Wow. Yes, now we are really getting in there. Look. Okay. Now, if you need more salt, maybe because the broth wasn't salted right, well, this is the time to edit. So just edit if you need it. I don't, in this case. Look, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and perhaps this way of cooking, which is a kind of, of a slow torture for the pasta, is the reason why they call this pasta the killer spaghetti. We are the killers, the assassins. In fact, and this is fun, in the official recipe, it's written that the chef must be absolutely ruthless when cooking this pasta. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? There, okay. there, my spaghetti alla sassina is ready. I can't wait, and I will not wait. On the plate and into the mouth. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this dish. Just try it once and you'll fall in love. And don't forget to subscribe, to click the bell, and to let us know how your killer pasta turns out in the comments. And buon appetito! Ciao!